Hi guys, welcome back to Sean's Shows. It's here is where you get to watch me watch TV shows and I'm so freaking excited right now because we are right in the midst of the brand new Big Brother UK 2023, the reboot that brought it back after a few years of being cancelled and I was really sad when they first cancelled it. But anyway, we're here today for the first live eviction. It is Friday the 13th, like, hey, it's Friday the 13th. First live eviction I've been watching all week and I'm so, so excited. I wasn't sure if I was going to live react to it, but I've decided I will. We're only going to do the live evictions and the live final. And we know I think it's only going to be on for about six weeks. And we're not going to be doing each episode throughout the week. We're not going to be doing Big Brother Late and Live either, which I would like to at least call Late and Loud because I have to watch it with the volume on like three at night because it's quite loud and late. Anyway. Um, so I'm very excited to be doing this now, especially as we have Kerry versus Farida and I have so many things to speak about, but I'm excited to see exactly what we're going to see this episode because obviously we're here for fun. We're here to react. We're here to see the show and just discuss what we've been enjoying and what we're seeing. And I'm just living for the drama and I'm just like, oh, I just want some like good drama TV right now. You know what I mean? And it's been super exciting. And I found myself watching last night's episode just so much being like shut the fuck up Farida like literally like I just I don't dislike her and the thing is with the drama it's it's given the drama for the show which is what we want but the fact that them two are up together means like it's just so funny because she's she's that kind of person who's just like has a story about everything she puts in she's just going to get involved in every conversation and be like I have I go live and I have these hundreds of followers I don't care like you know what I mean like we'll get it she's bringing the personality but I did give my five votes to evict Farida because I just, I can't put up with it either because it's infuriating, you know, when you notice it and it's just continuous and it's like, okay, so I don't know which way it's going to go. I feel like people might want to keep her for the drama and to see how she sort of acts further in the house. I'm probably good either way, but I did vote for her to go because I don't know, I, I kind of like Carrie as well. Like, she's all right. She's very like the Essex vibe, like kicking off about the food and everything. She was giving me like the GC Gemma Collins vibes the whole time with that with being like doing the food challenge but anyway I don't want to talk too much I just want to jump straight into it and hopefully things are okay with the copyright because this is just like the usual reaction you don't get to see the full clips but we'll see what we can see and I do my best with it with the editing if you're new here welcome and we're going to be here doing the live evictions on the Friday so it's only on six days a week because it's on ITV, so it's kind of like the Love Island situation. So, you guys watch the eviction on a Friday. I'll get this video filmed and edited and uploaded on a Saturday, and you, you can come watch me on the Saturday, and then we'll watch the Sunday episode like normal on TV, and then we'll repeat. So I'll be here on the Saturday for years, for the entertainment, for whatever you need, for the Big Brother fix. And the reactions and the evictions oh my god and anyway big brother's always like a day behind anyway so i'm fine to be an extra day behind you know what i mean oh my god it's been a while and this is all just happening so these hands anyway without further ado let's just crack onto it because it's quarter to nine now so i'm just gonna wait a few minutes till nine o'clock and get ready and eviction time i'm excited just to see what the episode brings as well because we haven't seen the actual nominations yet so it's kind of like gaggy in that sense like i'm excited I haven't watched the full late and live from last night because it was on late and live and I was busy, so tired. Anyway, let's go. And as I was saying, we're here to have fun. So we need to sort of just be careful with the whole online situation because we're going to observe the show, comment and critique on what we think. And we can discuss this here, but then that doesn't really give cause to then go to other people's platforms and send any hate like that because we're going to just have that from the ground running. Similar with Drag Race, anything like that. We don't want any online hate or spreading. We're going to say some things here. It might be a little, a little shady. I should have had my shade fan, but anyway. And that's as far as it goes. It's just p opinions, but it doesn't give us any cause to go out and spread any hate like that. We're just not about that. And I do not condone that. I'm very clear on that from the start. So we're all good. Let's go. Set your crocs to sport mode. Give your big, bigger brush. And squirt some mayo in your pot noodle. It's Friday. We're live. And, and it's eviction night! Woo 
Okay, you know what's actually nice about this already? Because one, we've had a week to kind of get to know AJ and Will, even though we knew them from years ago, presenters, that sort of thing. This is a live eviction compared to the not so live launch that they did on Sunday. So it's we nice. We are live on ITV2 mm -hmm. and it is the first eviction of the series. Also that silver on AJ, she looks fucking incredible. The silver lights background situation, she looks great. And can you believe that we've already had almost half a million oh. votes? Half a million! Oh, that's incredible! Brilliant, and I reckon... I mean, I know maths and numbers, but I can't actually work out if it's five per person, half a million, 100,000? 100,000 people, 100,000 people, I'm one of them. Also, who did you vote for? Like, you've got to literally avoid a choice of two, but I'm curious who you voted for. This week's nominations will take place in 30 minutes. Oh, uh, like, I'm not even kidding, 11 o'clock, like half 11? I've got to get my cup of tea, get my crumpet. I'm not awake for the nomination, for the drama. Do y'all remember when Tiffany Pollard got voted back then? And it's like, don't look at me. Don't even, don't even look. Just look over there. Like, I could not be doing this at half 11 in the morning. Just saying. Imagine that for one week only, you can nominate yourself. How controversial would that be? Get me out of here. Me, me, me. Oh, that's not good. Don't say that, Kerry. People are going to be like... Let's vote her out then if she wants to not be here and not eat our mushrooms and our tofu and our peas. But I like her. She's been, I don't know. I just feel like there might be more in it for Farida to stay. So don't, don't be defeated, Kerry, straight away. I think it's harder when you've not had any situations. Mm. I've had too many. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alicia knows that. She is, the thing is she's playing up to the camera. She knows what she's doing and it's working. But she's got the target now on, well, we'll go for Farida because she's controversial. She's just had a battle with you and you and you and the Halley situation. I mean... <sighs> You must nominate the one housemate you wish to face eviction. Just one. As and Olivia it's... successfully won immunity in this week's earlier task, she cannot be nominated. I mean, that's a whole other story. Get, like, maybe next week? Are they doing face-to-face -face nominations? I'm sorry, guys. I feel bad for oh, you all. Oh, can Chanel come to the diary room? Oh, no, it's not face-to-face. -face. Okay, so it's just going to be... I, I can't believe you're only voting one person, though. Hmm, I suppose. Would Hallie come to the diary room? <laughs> Thing is, though, I mean, she's been friends with Kerry, and she had that whole situation with Farida, which I understand for, like, an older generation asking those questions, but it did make her feel uncomfortable, and it was just... I don't know, it's almost like pushing the boundaries, and it was a bit... It was inappropriate. And I, I get it to ask the questions, but... She felt so uncomfortable, and I, Hallie, you know what? Just vote for Rita. She's gonna. I nominate for Rita because she can be annoying at times, and I feel like she hasn't made the best of efforts to get to know everyone. She talks over people, she interrupts people, and I just feel like she wants to be the leader of the house. She's fighting for that role. 100%. You know the way you speak and the way how passionate you are saying the things you say and like how you stand up for what you believe in him. Like no one can say that from you. Some you know people I mean? no. will be like, oh, she's a Muslim woman, what's she doing on, on Big Brother and, you know, make you look crap. That's it. You look carry on, I know what I'm doing. We're not talking about that. It's nothing to do with who you are. It's it's the way you're coming across. It's so like... It's not about that. I mean, did you see her in the the food challenge where it was the office thing and she was like oh yeah like doing the envelopes yeah there this is great and Olivia was just like look we've done this for a day it's not fun and she's like I can't believe that years have got all this food and blah 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 and like the higher ups and it's like she just has to stick her aura into everything so it's nothing about her as a like her personality like well it's nothing about her fucking being Muslim or anything like that just don't be a fucking pain in the ass. She can be quite loud, and sometimes her voice can just go through me, especially in the morning times. She can be overpowering in group situations, and she does moan a mm -hmm. lot, like the other day when 
she got very angry and kicked off about having tofu on top of her salad, which yeah. wasn't... She's a big personality, that's the thing. I mean, it's clear. It's like a 50-50 split here. Kerry, Farida, Farida, Kerry, like... And it's just funny how they've, like, butt heads because they are both going for that leader, head of the house role. Even though that's not really a role, but, like, whatever. One of them's going go. The person I'm going to be nominating is Paul. Whoa. I don't get much deepness from him and i think i wasn't kind of expecting anyone to vote other to people see to sort of get to know people up close and i'm quite stimulated by deep conversations and interactions and i haven't seen that he's capable of that so um that's the person i'm nominating for those reasons okay i haven't seen much about this person so i'm not really going to give him much airtime i've heard the situation i don't know what's true but i'm not really going to give him any general airtime so Housemate have been nominating for one hour and 19 minutes. I can't minutes. believe how long it's took. I know so there's 16 far, of them, Farida but... Farida and Kerry have two nominations. Paul has won. Imagine just waiting all day from half 11 till one o'clock. I'd be like, look, I need my lunch. I think oh, it's not that bad. Yin runs lush. I love my Yin. See, these two... Been exceptional and unforgettable. I'm thankful for the opportunity. I wasn't expecting to like him, but like it's just I I really do like him actually. <laughs> I'm nominating Henry because I feel like he's not spoken to everyone in the house hey, properly. I have some things to say about Henry. I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it for the next week's episode. We'll see what happens this week. But oh, so another reason is being during that bed task. Um, he just got off the bed and just be like, yep, I'm not doing this sort of thing. True. Where I come from, it's all about team. It's all about effort. Because at the end of the day, it could have been for something important. For us to stay in the bed, do you know what I mean? And uh, um, I just felt like he was just like, oh, fuck this, I'm not doing this. I got off. Him, literally, not necessarily team play being like, right, fuck it. Well, you know what? That's, that's very, it's very Tory of him. Let's just put it out there right now. I was a no with him. I was like, Tory, mm, literally no. Like, I'm I'm not about him. Like, he can go away. Not You're not going to vibe with me. Like, you've fucked up the country. You, you're against LGBT. Like, you just, it's just, zip. Nothing. But then the situation with him and the, the I literally forgot his name, but the posh one from Scunthorpe, the Downton Abbey one. I'm like, okay, I like their kind of friendship, but I don't think I can give him a free pass because of the Tory thing. Like, I, I'm a, if I'm a judge people, if I'm a discriminate on my own channel, it'll be about Tories. But let's not, talk, let's not get into politics, okay. Oh, Yin Run, she going, she going, she going to do the nomination. Who's she going to shoot? Who's she going to go for? Is it... Go what if it's going to be Olivia? Because she was, like, shouting. Like, she can't deal with that kind of stuff. Like, it wasn't shouting at her, but it was, like, a bit intense. Could you give the name of your nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? The person I want to nominate for this week is Carrie. Fair. The okay. reason is because my personality come in, coming into this house, I was very shy and... Uh, I feel a little bit distant while I was trying to talk to her actively. It is very heartful when you feel when I feel like someone is not that interested in me. Yeah. That's why I feel like if I have to pick someone, Carrie would what be the one I want to nominate. That's a shame. And she was saying, Yin Run the other day was saying that she has had to speak to a few different people and some don't really ask questions back and it is a bit rude like they're there in the house to meet new people social experiment and it's as if they're not making the effort with her and she's got like a, a couple of close-knit friends and the rest just aren't bothering and it, it's it's actually sad and you know she's fucking incredible she's a fucking meme she's fabulous i really like her the country is getting behind her and i hope she's in the final my nomination for this week is Paul. I don't Jordan, really his name, appreciate yeah, that's his humour. All the bodily fluid jokes, just, uh, they're not my cup of tea whatsoever. Okay, fair. I know they, hey. they have this phrase, Big Brother, it gives me the ick. You know what it is? That phrase Maybe gives me the ick, but... his side of things just... I mean, he's trying to be, like, he was supporting Matty, being like, Matty, you, like, got a friend for life, and blah, 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 and we've got a trans girl in there, and we've got some bisexual, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a mixture of people, and I don't like the vibe with Paul, so let's not talk about him. She called Chanel something else today, like, this morning. She called her, like, Janine or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, when she does it, to, when she does it, it, like, people laugh, and it's funny, but it's not funny, you know? She, it's like... 
It's not. It's basic common. It's a bit disrespectful. To learn the names of the people that are around you. You don't want to do that so to other people, like for her it's... to keep calling me Dean and to keep calling Kevin Helen and to keep calling Chanel Janine. It's. It's rude. Yeah, it is. If it's really that hard, get everyone to put their name tags back on for Rita. Like, she wants to have other outcomes from this program, so I, I don't fair. really understand what her stance is. I'm just here to have a she's, good time. You know what it is? Reading the, the, the pages with Farida, she's just a bullshit. She's bullshit, and, and she's just trying to get what she's getting, and she's bringing the drama, and she's like, I'm going to have a show after the show, and you know what I mean? It's a bit bullshit-y. Purely because the day she ate my salmon and my corn off my plate, which kind of annoyed me she just took a spoonful of my she's corn she's been waiting on that one and then with the same spoon now the whole double dipping thing will freak anyone out with the same spoon she then started eating the salmon that was on my plate I just could thinking never... about that it almost felt like an overreaction on Olivia's part at the time but knowing Farida now it's a bit like she did that deliberate to be like I'm gonna cause some drama here and see what happens because it's Olivia she already knew that she was like gonna be kicking off at stuff so Farida due to the fact that it does sometimes feel a little bit more like I'm getting spoken at as opposed to having a conversation. It's just a case of sometimes... I could, okay, I agree. I, I couldn't be in there with her. That would be a situation. Because I'm quite a... Per, like, I'm, I could... I'm probably like her. Like, I probably don't mean to be, but I'm probably like... I could be like that, and y'all get me in there, and it's like... I'd, I'd mean we would we would not I'd be the carry uh, we would not get on <laughs> me and Farida would not get on I'd be like oh I kind of deal stop talking I'm not listening like yeah and I feel like I would be carry because I don't like mushrooms or peas I would be like why have I got this <laughs> hello big brother hello Farida could you give the name of your nomination and explain your reason hello big brother she's like but I wouldn't melt like I, I nominate Kerry she just likes a whole load of gossip. She loves it. I hate people that gossip. Gossip, gossip, gossip. And um, she has mini tantrums. She's a grown woman that needs to get it together and deal with it. <laughs> Instead of, you know, throwing a dummy out. I'm not eating that. She's got a point, but you know what, Farida, she's kind of just describing like me. I don't think we would get on, Farida. Like, if you're going to be live and I'm going to be live reacting, like, let's just not cross paths on the socials, because <laughs> might be a little awkward. I'll join you on Insta Live. We can besties. My nomination is going to be Farida. With Farida, I certainly feel like I'm being spoke to, not spoke with. Mm. It's a very one-way conversation, and it's... It just makes me feel like I'm wasting my time because it, it seems like she's got a hidden agenda. I think when you're talking about fame yeah. and money mm -hmm. and, you know, or what you can sort of do on the outside. I think she's only talking to them just to kind of pass the time and get to speak about herself and just, like, not actually have genuine connections with people and just almost, like, lord it over people. My conclusion was easy. Oh, easy? Yeah, dead easy. Ah! Well, okay. Don't try and start getting the run on side and tricking her. Could you give me the name of your nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Yeah, sure. Um, my nomination is for Farida. She's hard work. I find her selfish. And I'm finding her hard to like at the moment because she's... she's she's putting my back up yeah and i just feel like she looks down on me quite a bit it's a look that i haven't even had from my mother she does this look where she goes of course kerry of course <laughs> i can picture it too feel. like it's a bit i'd be i'd not be happy with that it's patronizing okay I'm in. So everyone. it's probably harder. Yeah, hundred percent. Because you get on with everyone. Yeah, yeah. You think you she's gotta jump in. She's just jumping into all the answers. Like come on, fucking Farida. Fucking cross off the nominations. But Stop to be me. fair though, I think you're feeling bad. Not necessarily bad, but you just feel a bit like it's shady having to do this, but everyone's gotta do it. But at the same time I think the difference there is Kerry is a real person and she's emotional about it. Farida is there for the drama, the fame, and 
the whole shebang of it all. So she's playing the game. Dokoro UK, that's basically it. I just wanted to check that you was all right, because it's quite, um, um, you. you beat yourself up a lot about not understanding and not knowing the right words to say. And I worry that you, Aww, you know. I feel like it it's kind of nice that she's pulled her aside and asking about this sort of stuff, so. I feel good, me. Really? Like, yeah, 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 I feel good. Do you feel like you had a genuine reason? Yeah, it, not that it was genuine, but it was like, I didn't have any other reasons for, mm. do you know what I mean? And, Everybody else is like, because everyone is nice in here. Hey, remember, um, you can't talk about nominations, can't hint at who you voted for. At the end of the day, yeah, you've come in here, you've made a lot of bond with people, no. and then to see him go, it's fucking shit. No. He's I mean? pretty hot, to be fair, not gonna lie, but don't really know much about him. If they've nominated me, I will take it. It's fine. It is what it is. Eight. Eight I votes. feel like a winner, just to have spent even a day in this environment, I'm grateful, and that's it. There'll be lots and lots of people that will be so proud that I remain true to myself, that I practice my faith. That will be inspirational to other people. And I will continue to encourage people to live their best life, you know, enjoy life. It's true. Everything she's saying is true, but it's the execution of how she's saying it and how she speaks. It's just... Oh, and then it grates on you when you just can't deal with it. It's like... <laughs> anyway, let's, let's... Let's find out what their reactions are. <laughs> the housemates nominated for eviction this week are Farida and Kerry. Teresa, can I give you a cuddle? Good luck, darling. Good luck, darling. Good luck, good luck. I really mean that. Really good luck. Right. You know what? At least they won't have to see each other because no matter what, one of them will be going. <laughs> Farida, it's quite a nice place to be because if you're here, you're here because people want you here. To be honest, if it, all the youngsters stuck together and they got out the eldest people, which is fair enough, but it's going to get harder because the youngsters don't laugh. Because that's not nice. It's not. No, 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 calm the fuck down. That's, that's not what it is. No, it's no, not about the old people. That's fine. That's not what happened. No, that's fine because that's what happens. That's what happens. I'm not fucking. I can't be arsed. Oh, for you're that. not kicking off at the right person. Come on, Olivia. Bring out Olivia from day one. Like. It's bullshit. She's just using it for more drama, latching on to something when really they've they've gone for her because she's annoying not because of her age the young ones have all gone and clack clack gone together no 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 the thing is i was sh I, I was literally smirking at you like you, and I know, you yeah, I, know. I would have done the same you know when you just hear it it'd be like oh okay oh, awkward and you have the little smirk or the laugh and she's like don't do that don't laugh at me they are really really but i just don't appreciate not people like <sighs> olivia when she sat there and cried and I, I actually was the one that gave her a hug and tried to get her straight. And she was a, a bag of nerves and she was crying so much. It was the first night. I, I, I don't care whether it's like... the first night or the second night. No, I, I can't imagine. You, you just don't do that. You, you don't be so... The way her reaction just then, she found it funny. She'll she'll be up before you know it. Trust me. Oh, don't say No, that. because it, it's, it's factual. I'm living in the real world. No, she's You're... just kicking off and throwing a dummy out. <laughs> she's literally just like I mothered her I raised her from birth and now this is the disrespect she has given back to me that's the the vibe that we're getting right now bit of dramatic it was a finger in my face is it surely you're not <laughs> pointing at me <laughs> don't you laugh at me <laughs> don't you laugh at me why are you mad why are you mad though why are you laughing Fingers pointed, apparently. Don't you point your fucking finger at me. <laughs> that did not happen. <laughs> well, I'm yeah, really hearing what and I want I to hear. I someone's like, what you want to hear. I love how Matty's just like, this didn't happen. What's happened? What drama? There's no drama. What happened? And there's like, it's all these youngsters. And I was like, oh, she's gonna, she's, she's, she's given me an absolute pep talk on that I will be up every week because I'm old. But literally. I looked at Paul, made a face, and then next thing you know, she's fucking shouting. She's fucking shouting oh, at me. I didn't like me. the way she pointed. I did say that I, Point, it's not a fact. It's not pointing in my face, and I was like, I'm yeah. not laughing. I'm really proud I, of but how I you did dealt say with back. That. I was like, because she, she could have gone red and just like gone in, which I would have loved for the TV, but 
Teach me some words oh, in Chinese. Really? Yeah. What do you want to learn? Just anything. 你好. 你好. 你好 means 你好. hello you. Yeah. 你好. 你好. It's like how are you? 你好吗? Okay. 我很好. I'm good. 我很好. Yes. Really? How can you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, come on, Chinese lessons. I just yeah, want to come to you. We're in this together. We've only got each other. hundred percent. Honestly, whoever it is, be prepared to be up for the rest of the six weeks. Okay. That's all I'm Don't, no, I like, really she's just clinging on to that bullshit. And it's like, don't, like, don't ruin it for Kerry. You know, make her worry. And she's just. And people on the outside are probably saying, for you got me, you got me, you got me. Yeah, that's they will be. They but absolutely will be. Look at all the people you've No, know. we're not. I'm just saying that, you know, like, we've had a great time. We've got it on our profile. We've been in the Big Brother house. End up. Move profile. on. See, she's like, oh, my God, my Insta profile first out. Like, BBUK23. Kerry's just like, what are you on about? What is an Insta live? What are these hundreds of thousands of people who view your videos? Like, what, is, what, do, you, what do you mean? I don't care. I mean, it's not currency to me. If I was in your position... I'd be looking after my mates as well. It's just the norm. It's what we do. Yeah, my mate. Mate. No, you're not even hearing me out. Okay. You're, you're asking me a question, and then not, you're not hearing me out. You're like, okay, but Callie's my friend. Callie's your friend. Her name's Hallie, and Hallie. she's my friend. Hallie. Yeah, Hallie's, my friend. Your Hallie's your friend. Hallie's your friend. Yeah, she is. Right, okay, she's your friend. She's, but like, trust she's the youngest. Me. I know. Oh, right. I know. I know you want to be... Her friend. I don't want uh, to be. That makes me sound no, like I'm no, like no. one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, you no, you no, have no. a chat with that. No. Sorry, sorry, come here, hold no, up on no, my camera. No, listen, no, listen, listen. Really. I, come here, come here. No, I feel no, like no. being you here, I feel like I'm coming to you. I, I deal with this I'm in fine my. With being nominated. You know, like my normal day to day job when I work with um, parents. Yeah. And, and when the parent wants to befriend their child. And they forget that actually I'm the child and I'm the mother. No, but I'm yeah. not a child though, no, I'm a grown I'm woman. I'm 18. That doesn't mean I'm a little kid. No, you're not a little kid. You're not a little kid. You're just digging some mom. sort of whole cat fucking Farida. What are you forget. talking no, about? I'll absolutely forget that. I will oh, pretend you have, <laughs> have a word with that because before I fucking lose my mind. She's just winding her up. Like, she must know what she's, she's doing. She just said to me that the reason why you look like me is because you think I'm your mum. <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm really. Pro I'm angry. I don't I'm think you use my mum. You just tell me when I'm being out of order, which is often. Listen, I... mum, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about it, she probably does talk to her mum like that. <laughs> I do it to her mum shut up all the time. Yeah, you should work on that, Olivia. I'm on about social dynamics. There's so many social bonds that are created within the group. Mm. At some point, right? Imagine mm. so many, like half of the group goes. You'll be in a really awkward position you be. where you've got to nominate your friends. I know, but I feel like we'll cross snack. that hurdle when it comes to it. Well, obviously. Obviously. You go, Hallie. What what is Sean? Do, do you want to be the fucking psychiatrist on Big Brother late in life? Because, like, what? I don't even know what the fuck she's talking about. I'm not going to lose, lose sleep over right. it. You don't know what's tomorrow, whether tomorrow's promised. Exactly. Happy days. Let me just. <laughs> you know what Just in say? case it's my last night. Happy yeah, day. In the rain. <laughs> We're sinking in the rain. She's just literally playing up to the cameras, and I can't. You know, like that's. I get it, but it's like, oh, it's kind of infuriating. She's just kept going on. It's like a dog with a bone. She's kept going on and 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 about it. Vote is now. Closed. I got mine in. Yes, for Farida or Kerry, the jig is up, the game is over, the ride has come to an end. Very soon, one of them will be saying goodbye to their fellow housemates. You don't want to miss it. See ya in a minute. I don't feel like Emma Willis ever signed off the show with, see ya. <laughs> I miss Emma. I miss Ryland. <laughs> has come to an end. But first, shall we have one last bit of house action? Really? It's got like seven minutes left. They better not do the whole like interview with the evictee on like late in live because I'm not reacting to that. And if they do, then I'll have to w watch it the first part or something. But like, hello, L let's just see the elim elim elimination eviction. Imagine Great. the euphoria if I stay tomorrow, like given all the, I mean, she tells me, all the followers she's got. 
Oh my gosh, she's right behind her. What's that sound? Oh, we should stop going on about followers and all these. You know what it is, Faruda? If I'm honest, I think you've highlighted. It almost seems like you've highlighted you've got a higher chance. No, I haven't. Well, well, no, 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 hold on. Let me land. It, feel, it almost feels like you've highlighted that your, your success, your chances of success are much higher than hers, whether you're in the house or not. And I think that has gotten to Kerry. There, so, could, be mil there could be millions of viewers that don't even know me. There are millions of viewers that don't even know you. Not could, there are. There are. Actually, maybe her friendships that she's built in the house is not real. That you said that? Adds, well, you said that they, 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 I didn't they, say no, that. No, this right, is the no, problem Frida. with you. you no, everything, Frida, hang on a you seem to. You said, that, you said that the youngsters will no, equally I'm, pick what us out. Saying, that upsets me because two, no, two of It's not a problem with Kerry. There's a problem with you, Farida, and the way you. Yeah, but I think kind of cancelling that friendship out for her because that's how you feel. It makes me a bit sad. That's all. Yeah. That's all. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. I didn't even. It's not fine. The thing is, that's not nice. It's not fine, Olga. Me. You want to kind of separate yourself as mother and people are children. That's very condescending. And you need to take that on board. Well, I'll take it on board. No, you won't. Like, I can't believe she was talking about it and then she walked in and be like, no, don't bring up followers and why, why do you keep going on about Why do you keep going on about everything? Like, I would really be trying to stay out of this drama if I was in there. Like, I'd be doing, just having a bit of fun with the guys. I'd be like Olivia, just like taking it a step back. But it would also be really hard to not get involved and stand up like she's done with Kerry there. Like, I just... I don't know. I really want Farida to go. <laughs> but I feel like it would just continue the drama. I... <sighs> Maybe some of her followers might be like, although we follow Farida, we quite like Kerry. I might get some turncoats. Like, if I stay tomorrow, I'm going to be absolutely buzzing. Of course I am. Um, am I going to be bothered if Farida goes? No. It's going to be a great head to head. May the best woman win. Let's find out. Let's find out. Mm. So, the battle of the house mamas has almost reached its peak. Who's ready for an eviction? I've been waiting this whole episode. Literally ten past Farida. Farida! Get Farida out. Get Farida out. Oh, Carry Kerry. Out. She's she's going she's gonna cry. I just feel like it might be Kerry. The viewers have spoken oh and we can now reveal Stop that the first housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother house is Farida. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and even she's happy. You know what? We're all happy. It's all happened. You know what? <sighs> Say your goodbyes. It's time to leave. I'm gonna miss you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? She come in. She's done her thing. She created the fucking drama. And then she she like dipped. She's like, right. See you. I'm so happy for Kerry. Like. I don't know if there'll be any of this drama again now the rest of the time. I mean, we've got Olivia, but... Aw, oh, Farida. You know what? She's living her life, and you know what? She's going to get what she wanted. She's got the publicity, the fame, the, the followers. Oh my god, it's like a fucking lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. literally Friday she went in on Sunday <laughs> well Saturday but I think she just loves the fame and the attention and just the the limelight and the spotlight like well done for what she's done and I'm kind of glad she's gone so I had the most amazing time thank you everybody for making the effort and coming tonight love you Thanks everyone for coming down and like looking nice and coming to see me and my one woman show. <laughs> grab your girl proper chat yeah. and we're gonna head to the studio. And I... you know, like, you're looking for your family, they are here, so are don't you here? Be I'm born ready! <laughs> okay, we're gonna see this interview, we're gonna see this interview, we're gonna see this interview. <laughs> and Farida has become the first housemate to leave the big brother house. And she will be spilling all of the tea on Big Brother. Absolutely. Just coming up next. Where you 
Okay. Please give it up for Farida! She is almost just like a ray of sunshine. She's dressed in yellow. She's just so happy and bubbly and it's like, oh. Frida, Frida, no, get Frida out, get Frida out. No one was chanting that, which, hey, maybe they're not allowed or I don't know, but. We can give you a little insight. Would you like to see your nomination? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, they're, they're, okay, we're a long list of names is what we need. The nominating today is Farida. 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 I mean, come on, Sam and Gig. Did you realise that? What was that? She doesn't even remember. Yeah. Olivia's fish <laughs> off a plate was that big of a deal? I don't recall eating salmon off a plate, but... Babe, we've got you! I did, I enjoyed it, people! Yeah. Babe, hey. <laughs> we've got you on camera doing it! Oh, delicious! Fabulous! <laughs> See that? Yeah? I mean, for reason, you double dip. Don't forget, sharing is caring. Yeah, but you're not... That's, no, you're taking is not making. Sharing is caring. Taking is not making. You took, but you didn't make. Hashtag. There was obviously tension and there was obviously a clash fairly oh, early yeah. on. Oh, mm. yeah, 100%. I couldn't understand her tantrum. She's a 40-year-old grown woman. I tried to understand it today. She did tell me she's a drama queen. Mm. Um, she's probably not the kind of person that I would mix with in my everyday so life. Are you? Because mm. I can't be doing dealing with drama. I've got a life. You know, she does a lot of he said, she said, gossiping. She, at one point, came over to me and said she was apologetic for um, saying that she misunderstood me. She thought I was actually performing for the cameras. That's not the way I live my life. Mm. I'm a very That's how it appeared. direct yeah, no. businesswoman, may I add. You yes. are. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, the even that, I feel like even that seemed to um, rub Kerry up the wrong way. And the this more you it. talked about your business, the more you two seem to clash. Yeah, well, you know, I've worked very, very hard to hustle in life and mm. um, and I will continue I'll continue to enjoy the success. You know, I, I feel like a winner. Yeah, today. good. Well, Do you feel like being in there and forming a relationship with Hallie, you, you learnt a lot about each other yeah. and, you, and you learnt about people you might not have normally come across? Well, well, to be honest, my life, I mix with every nationality, every nation. You know, I used to be an ex Holly Direct. One of my best friends was get from the gay community. As a, a, from the gays. From the gays. One of my best friends was gay, so I know everything. No, but you did not understand. But you mix with them in a very different way. You know, you don't have to live with them 24-7. Yeah. You don't have to wake up yeah. to see them, do you? Um, I don't know. In the repping world, I, I mix with a lot of people. That Say it how it is, AJ. Seriously. We, just... You know, so it, it's obviously there was questions that I was intrigued about yeah. that I might have asked her because I was in mm -hmm. that situation uh, that I was able to. And that's what social mixing is about, learning off Well, each absolutely. Other. I mean, you're taking the words right out of my mouth. You said before you went in there that you wanted to use the Big Brother house as a proper social experiment. Do you feel like you've succeeded in 100%. that? 100%. I hope that people from my face can learn that it doesn't matter whether you wear a headscarf or you don't, you can achieve absolutely every goal. And whether you practice your faith, if there's something that you want to do, strive and go for it. I hope and that is a really admirable approach to have and a good role model, 100%. So I totally commend her for that. Absolutely. Everybody should be allowed for equal opportunities for everyone. So amazing and praise, praise her for that. So been watching that back. Yeah. Um, how do you reflect on your time yeah. in the house? Well, yesterday, one of uh, my friends in the housemate, Zach, he said to me, can you tell me something that you would remember, really, really remember, and you know, the highlight? And for me, waking up with 16 people, sunglasses, music, flaring, <laughs> and 16 people, it's just an incredible um, way of waking up. You, who will experience that ever? I'm 50 years old, but to experience it with a whole load of youngsters and all of all age groups, all yeah. you know. And the other thing that I would say, I've never, I've probably lost some weight because <laughs> I have done the most amazing belly laughs. Like you oh, know. Fair. I was going to say you should go to the jungle. Oh my god, just call me in the jungle in the air or something. And I'm a celeb and. Oh, God, she would. She's going to be all over the Strictly, I'm a celeb, 
fucking dancing on ice. She's yeah, going to be on all these. An like. absolute joy to watch. Thank you so much. Go and join your friends and family. Please give it up for Farida. Well done, Farida. I'm glad she's gone. That is it. You know what it is. The interview's done. And I'm going to pause late in live there for now. For me. For this episode. For this video. So. Right. Now, don't go anywhere. Because after Sorry, the break, Will. we have got Sorry, the first... Will. Okay. So that is pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Seriously, I hope everything works well with the copyright and stuff. And we have our first eviction. And it's been very exciting. But the fact that we have 15 housemates left. And five more evictions. Or five more weeks, at least. Is it but like we can't have a 10 piece finale i don't know very excited for more things to come it was really fun to watch this and just to see and obviously the next episode i think we would still get a bit more of the highlights before she went out of the house so we'll still get a bit more for rita and she'll probably be on later and live later late in live in the coming days as well but i'm really curious already about the next week's uh, nominations next week's eviction all that sort of stuff so stay tuned for that and if you want to check me out on the patreon i've got that for some exclusive content on tier three mm -hmm. tier one and two doesn't really work it didn't really work for the copyright free content and stuff but hey tier three is there if, you, if you're feeling generous you want to support the channel want to support me and want to see something a little naughty a little exclusive let me know all your thoughts on everything seriously like di who did you vote for who did you want to go are you happy with how it's gone are you enjoying the show are you enjoying the hosts aj and will how are you finding it in general seriously and generally just remain positive and spread the love and not the hate towards any of the contestants any of the evicted i was gonna say queens any of the evicted queens and <laughs> it really does feel like when the uh, eviction happens and they're going to announce it. It's like the finale of like Drag Race kind of thing. So each week I'm excited for that. So I'm excited to do this and watch this. And I love watching the show anyway. And I'm excited to experience it with you guys. So yeah, I'll see you very soon. And stay safe and be positive out there. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.